Hey everyone, welcome back to Andy Demos. After a huge splash with their Gecko Plex, Gecko Pedals is back with a brand new invention, the O-Face. And this one, as you just heard, is an overdrive with some really interesting modulation options. So let's check it out. On the surface is a four-stage all-analog overdrive, offering a unique soft clip diode arrangement and a powerful seesaw tone control. But take a closer look and you'll notice controls generally seen on a modulation pedal. The gain, tone, and volume knobs have their own independent controls for speed, depth, and waveform of the modulation. There's the syrupy harmonic style tremolo with the tone control, intense swells with the gain, or classic tremolo by modulating the volume. Plus these three elements can be locked in time, set to a multiple of the global rate, or freeform for unexpected waveform interactions. The advanced digital control of the O-Face means this pedal is fully programmable with three onboard presets and even more control with MIDI in and out. Diving even deeper are alt commands which give you access to tap tempo subdivisions 1 through 4, neutral tone adjustments, phase of each waveform, and the tap hold feature which ramps the speed or depth on the fly for a more dynamic O-Face experience. Just like the Gecko Plex, the O-Face is hand-built one at a time from Circuit to the Rugged Silk Screening in Eugene, Oregon. And you can check it out at geckopedals.com. So before we get into all those modulation options, I just want to show you the core overdriven sound in the O-Face. And like I mentioned before, it is 100% analog. So I'm just going to start with uh, the gain back and show a clean boost setting and show how that tone control is really powerful because it's both a low and high pass filter in one knob. dipping into the low pass section of the tone control. Now high pass, you'll notice the low end is being rolled off here, so it's a great uh, selection for the neck pickup. So a little bit goes a long way in terms of those low and high pass filters. I just wanted to take off a little bit of low end so it doesn't get flubby on a high output setting here. Uh, but let's try some high gain settings and see where this O-Face can go.
So being a soft clipped overdrive, you have a lot of dynamics here and you could always clean everything up with the guitar's volume knob as you heard in low and high gain settings. Now let's get into the really interesting part here and that's modulating any of these knobs. I like to start with the tone because it really just gives you a great idea on the different sounds you can get by uh, just kind of moving these knobs all by themselves. <laughs> And rolling the tone back kind of gives you a different flavor. It's less of a, a syrupy sort of harmonic trim and more uh, entering the zone of a classic amplitude modulation tremolo. <laughs> That's just scratching the surface. Here's a great example of that. I'm going to use that tone control, but I'm also going to engage the volume. And rather than just have them in sync, which you can of course do, I'm going to make that one uh, twice as fast. And I'm also going to change the waveform. So just to uh, get to the basics here, I'm going to start off with the volume so you can hear how that sounds ramping on its own. And then I'll change the waveform. <laughs> Now this is sine wave, let's hold down the button and move that tone control to the um, minimum setting which is going to give us a nice square wave chop. <laughs> As promised, here's the tone control modulating at its uh, own speed and its own depth. And you could easily do this just by holding down the illuminated button and just adjusting those speed and depth controls. <laughs> And since we have one left, the gain control, let's hear it on its own and then blend it in with those other waveforms. <laughs> Thank you. 
And here's all three of them modulating at different speeds with different waveforms. And this is easily found on preset three straight from the factory. So it just gives you a good idea on where you can take this pedal. <laughs> Let's try out the tap hold feature and say you're wanting to use the overdrive pretty much as a standard overdrive sound, but just blast into any one of those knobs oscillating back and forth. You could actually do this uh, to change the speed or the depth. So I've chosen just to use a depth just to fade into a gradual uh, tremolo or harmonic trim sound with that tone control. And then when I let off on the tap switch, it's just going to gradually fade back down. <laughs> Here's one of my favorite applications of the hold tap feature, and that's when oscillating the tone control to kind of get a, a full Leslie tone. And you could use that hold tap feature as a Leslie break. <laughs> Well, that's a quick dive into the O-Face from Gecko Pedals, and you can find this all analog modulation device as well as the EP5 Gecko Plex at geckopedals.com. Thanks for watching.